Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. And today we're going to talk about who you should get to represent you when you are filing an asylum case. So in 2017, someone reached out to us. They needed to file for asylum. They entered the U.S. as a student and then things happened back in their home country and they needed an asylum case filed. We filed the asylum case for this person and it's been pending, meaning that it's in progress with immigration since 2017. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you will know that the way that asylum works in the United States is that if a person applies for asylum, um, there's a first in, first out rule, meaning that about 80% or so of these cases are given an interview for asylum within maybe one to three months right away. It's really fast. And the other 20% are placed in a backlog. Now, the problem with the backlog is that the government will not look or touch cases in the backlog until years later. There are situations that like we have cases where the government places an asylum case in the backlog and that case is not scheduled for an interview until like maybe five years later. So it's a very long time. A lot of people, they're in limbo because they always have to file work renewals and pay for the renewals. So you can understand why a lot of people don't want to be in the backlog. So this client of ours, he hired us in 2017. So now after July, it's going to be three years. And he's very impatient because he's thinking about getting married. And I think that his wife is pressuring him to speed up the process. That way he can apply for her green card. And what he did was that he spoke with me and I told him, look, there's no way that you can speed up your case based on the facts that you have provided. So the three ways that you can speed up an affirmative asylum case and get it out of the backlog, it's very specific. Um, it's written on the government's website. I'm gonna go through it with you today so you know what the criteria is if you want to speed up your affirmative asylum case and it's stuck in the backlog. So the three criteria is the first one being severe financial loss. So if there's a reason why you have to, you know, professionally receive your green card right away, then you can notify immigration and they can make a decision whether or not they want to expedite your case. This is very rare. There is, it's very rare to have a job that requires you to have a green card because as a person that's seeking asylum, you receive a temporary work card called an employment authorization document that allows you to legally work in the U.S. for any employer. So when people, you know, request, you know, that their case be expedited because of severe financial loss, sometimes I wonder if they're really thinking straight because it really doesn't, it's not very fruitful. So the next situation where immigration will entertain a request to expedite a case that's in the backlog is if there is um, an emergency situation. So what this means is that if you're really ill and you have to travel somewhere, maybe to get medical treatment, or you need to get medical treatment that requires you to have a green card or some type of permanent immigration status, I can see where this is going. However, for most people, there's really no health, they really don't have a lot of health uh, considerations, especially the client that I have right now. Now, the final reason that immigration will take a case from the backlog and, and you know, adjudicate it right away is for humanitarian reasons. So if you are already married and you have family that's overseas or there's other reasons why um, you believe that they're unsafe and you need the asylum process to speed up, in that situation, the client can request expedited processing of their case. But if it doesn't fall into one of these three categories, the chances of you getting a case at a backlog is very slim to none. If an attorney promises something that deviates from what is published online and what is on the government's website, you have to take it with a grain of salt and know that it's not real. So at the end of this video, we're going to provide you with a client testimonial. The client testimonial will be from a client that received um, asylum last year. And after one year of receiving an asylum approval, uh, asylum applicants can actually apply to receive their green card. And that's what we're doing with him right now. So he was nice enough to do this video to share his experience. And we're going to include it at the end of this video. My name is Amjad. And then I uh, actually told I give my experience to the people who are applying for asylum. So that's why I tried to help the people. So I was researching the bill So I like I tried to see many authority, but I see the review. So I tried to take an appointment and meet him. 
yes. I speak a lot of times, some of them they say like they cannot help me with my cases, some of them say like you have to go back to the country because my case is so bad, so and then when I meet Mr. David, so he accepted my cases and he helped me with that. He did help me for preparing the paper to do it after David, like he helped me a lot, a lot of things. Like yes, he helped me for an interview, he gave me like a lot of questions like how I'm doing the interview, so yeah, he helped me. Like, of course, I was gonna be nervous. <laughs> uh, I would feel bad so if like if they didn't accept me and help me because like I didn't I didn't go to the any lawyer so I did it by myself and I fell down so I would feel so bad. No, that's not easy because you have to like prepare the story, like don't like have to prepare the story, I have to do the affidavit, like you have to have to bring the evidence, like you cannot do it by yourself, so you have to go to someone who has experience for that. Or uh, don't do it by don't do it by yourself. That's why. David Gwen's Law Office We are here to help you We bring families together through immigration And on the other hand we help you find solutions All your legal needs in the hands of people who care Who are there for you We'll take care of your loved ones at the law office of David